Hi, this is Dr. Dee Pasquale, and today I'm here to talk about diets, which is not a fun four-letter word at all that we like to hear about. But believe it or not, 45 million Americans every year are on a diet, and they spend about $33 billion on diet-related either food, shakes, or whatever the case may be. So let's talk about a couple of the popular diets that we hear about. Um, the first one is the paleo diet. It's been popular for a couple of years and the idea is that you're supposed to eat what the cavemen ate long ago. So basically fruits, vegetables, and meats is basically what the diet involves. They don't want you eating any kind of grains and whatnot. So again, a popular diet, people tend to lose weight immediately um, and reasonable amount of weight, but the hard part is that you can't stick with that kind of diet because you are eliminating sort of certain food groups that you, you might really need. The other one is the HCG diet. Now that diet is one that a hormone that's found in pregnancy, HCG, is injected into your body. The problem with this is that obviously you're injecting a hormone into your body, which I have to say I don't really like the idea, but it may not bother some people. But the other issue is that there is a severe calorie restriction associated with this diet. So you're down to about five to 800 calories a day, which is very, very little. The other issue is that usually once you go back to normal eating habits, you can gain the weight back as with any other diet. The other popular one is Slim Fast, where people are drinking shakes all day long and maintaining a calorie restriction that way. I'm not a big fan of diets that involve shakes only just because, well, me personally, I never feel full from a shake. I want to eat real food. And again, unless you're planning to do that for your whole life, you know, once you go back to eating regularly, people tend to gain the weight back again. The other one is all the meal replacement uh, diets that are out there. They tend to be pretty expensive because you have to buy their prepackaged food. And again, it never it doesn't teach you how to eat properly. So once you go off the prepackaged food program, you typically gain back the weight. So my recommendations as far as healthy weight loss would include a diet that is well balanced and basically something that teaches you how to eat properly and nutritionally. We also want to maintain some sort of calorie restriction, but it shouldn't be so severe that your body's metabolism just slows down significantly. Also, make sure that there's some exercise involved and really the best kind of dieting is really a lifestyle change where you change your lifestyle so that you can remain that weight for the rest of your life, hopefully. This is Dr. Dee Pasquale. Thanks for watching.